Hello everyone. Welcome to Story Time with Frozen Doll. Today I'm reading the book Commotions in the Ocean by Gilles Andrie and David Wachtowi. So let's read together and find out what is there under the deep waters, the seas and the oceans. Please subscribe to my channel Story Time with Frozen Doll. Please watch this video, press the like button and share your valuable comments. Commotion in the ocean. There is a curious commotion at the bottom of the ocean. I think we ought to go and take a look. You will find every sort of creature that lives beneath the sea, swimming through the pages of this book. There are dolphins, whales and penguins. There are jellyfish and sharks. There is the turtle and the big white polar bear. But can you see behind the wrecks? And in between the rocks? Let's take a look and find who is hiding there. Crab! The crab likes walking sideways and I think the reason why is to make himself look sneaky and pretend that he is a spy. Peter Patter Turtles We crawl up the beach from the water to bury our eggs on dry land. We lay a whole batch and then when they hatch, they scamper about in the sand. So it's the turtles that do Peter patter. Squeak, squeak, click, click. Now who is that? Dolphins. The wonderful thing about dolphins is hearing them trying to speak. It's not how do you do as I would say to you. It's more of a click, whistle, squeak. So it is the dolphins that do the whistle and the click and the squeak squeak. Now who is next? Angelfish. Hello. I am the angelfish, darling. The prettiest thing in the sea. What a shame there are no other creatures as gorgeous and lovely as me. The angelfish seems really beautiful. It's yellow in color and it looks really cute out there. 
Now who is next here? Jingle, jingle. And who does that? Jellyfish. The jellyfish just loves to jiggle. Which other fish think is quiet dumb? She knows that it's not all that useful. But jiggling's a lot of good fun. Look at this big guy out there. It is the shark. I swim with a grin up to greet you. See how my jaws open wide. Why don't you come a bit closer? Please take a good look inside. And what does the little fish and the starfish say? Yeeks! So this big guy, the shark, he is so scary with all that sharp teeth. Now who is next here? The swordfish. I love to chase after small fishes. It keeps me from getting too bored. And then, when I start feeling hungry, I skewer a few on my sword. So the swordfish has kind of a long nose which it calls as a sword. Tickle, tickle. Who is the one who is tickling? Octopus. Having eight arms can be useful. You may think it looks a bit funny, but it helps me to hold all my children and tickle each one on the tummy. So that's what the octopus does with its eight arms. It's hugging its little children there and they feel so ticklish. Who's that? Stingray. At the bottom of the ocean, the stingray flaps his wings. But don't you get too close to him. His tail really stings. That is going to be really painful if the stingray stings. Snippety snap, clippity clap. Who's that? Lobster. Never shake hands with the lobster. It isn't a wise thing to do. With the clippity clap, and a snippety snap, he would snip all your fingers in two. That is even more scary. Oh, I don't want to get my fingers cut off. Careful. Deep sea. Miles below the surface, where the water's dark and deep leave the most amazing creatures that you could ever meet. There are fish of all descriptions of 
every shape and size. Some have joined pointy teeth and great big bulging eyes. Some of them can walk around and balance on their fins. But the strangest fish of all have glowing whiskers on their chins. So the deep sea seems like a really awesome world with so many things happening there. Look at that big guy there. What is it? It's a blue whale. There is no other beast on the planet as big as the giant blue whale. He measures a massive 100 feet long. From his head to the tip of his tail. That is really a big fish out there. And look at that. There is some water sprinkling out of his nose. Seems like. Whoosh! That would be like a shower for us to stay under. Some little creatures on the whale. Barnacles. We are just a bunch of barnacles and all we do is cling. We know it's not that glamorous but it's our favorite thing. So the barnacles are small little creatures there and they love to stick to the big blue whale. Walruses Our bodies are covered with blubber and our tusks are incredibly long. We are grumpy and proud and we bellow out loud to show that we are mighty and strong. Urg, urg. So that's what the walruses sounds like. And who's they here? Penguins! We wandle around on our icebergs, which makes our feet slither and slide. And when we get close to the water, we leap with a splash off the side. We splash and splash and splash. That is very cute to watch the penguins jump into the water. And here are our cute friends, polar bears. Deep out in the Arctic, the mommy polar bear snuggles up with all her children. Since it is very cold out there. So mommy is holding her little babies together and they are snuggled up and I'm sure they are feeling very warm and happy together.
What a lot of creatures we have seen beneath the sea. What a lot of funny things they do. Some of them might lick their lips and eat you in one bite. And some might want to swim around with you. The dolphins very friendly and the lobsters very fierce. But the shark is the most dangerous by far. Can you name the other friends we have made along the way? See if you can tell me who they are. That was a very beautiful book. That was me frozen doll reading Commotions in the Ocean. So now we know a lot about what is there under the deep waters. It is really an exciting world out there. And maybe we could sometime go down there, swim with those fishes and those beautiful creatures and have some fun. I hope you all liked this book. See you soon again. Please subscribe to my channel Storytime with Frozen Doll. Please watch this video, press the like button and share your valuable comments. Thank you.